Okay, everyone. So Octavia has been floating all day long. We're going to run it one more time through the night. She is under the water, um, but it's harder to show in the bathtub. She's a bigger baby, so I had to do her in the bathtub. And I am covering up her parts, you guys. I blacked that out. But I'll just get up close and show you what I do see. If you see, see the little pieces of hair in the tub and the dirt? You can't really see a film on this one only because it's a white tub, but you see all the pieces in the tub. Look at all that in there. She was very dirty too. You see all of that? Oh my gosh, look at that at the bottom. You would have seen that with Abel. See the hairs there? But he was in a silver one because the thing, there's another hair. You can kind of see if I go over her body, you can kind of see some of the dirt like around her face and stuff. You can kind of see it a little bit over her body when I go over the body. But look at how beautiful that belly button is. God, she's gorgeous. Look at all that mottling. She's so beautiful. But you can see the chipping on her. That's what I'm going to be fixing. She doesn't have a lot to have to be fixed like I showed you before. But yeah, just showing you the water. I will black out, like I said, her areas if I get on her. But look at all the dirt in this water <laughs> in the tub. Look at that, you guys. Oh, my gosh. And I completely washed this tub before I put her in here. So it would go into a clean bath, but just look at all this icky in this water. And you can kind of see as I go by, you're seeing the stuff floating on the top too. Just not as good as it, you could in the other one. So I want to fill this up one more time. Plus the water's still a little bit warm. So of course the film would be more if the water was cold. You'd see it more, you know how grease floats to the top then. Or not grease, but the uh, oils would float to the top from touching her. But at least you guys get to see um, all the stuff, you know, on the bottom of the tub. So I'm going to clean it out, give her a good rinse, and then I'm going to fill it back up and then leave her overnight so that um, you get to see, you know, the next day we'll see if there's anything in there the next day, see if any more comes off of her. But yeah, there you go, you guys. One more time, we got to do this. And she is completely emerged under the water, which I absolutely hate, but she is just a doll she's not real even though she looks completely real she's just a doll but i still absolutely i've had anxiety all day having her in here the same thing with little abel i didn't like it but you can kind of see right there um if i kind of do it right there you can kind of see the stuff right there um you know kind of floating around and showing you some of the stuff right there that lighting there's some of the grease now i see it do you see that you guys that line that's not the tub because i'm looking close that's on the top of the water so actually, I am showing you some of the, the not grease, I keep saying grease, but the um, oil. You see that? That line? There it is. And I am seeing it now. Oh my gosh, there was a lot of uh, oil on her. Gosh, I knew there was going to be good. I'm glad you guys got to see it. You see what I'm talking about, those lines? That's that grease, because I'm looking at the tub myself. It's not at the bottom, it's at the top of the water. So good, I'm glad you guys got to see that. But yep, very, very dirty baby too. She was really, really, really dirty. But like I said, it's the most important step is to make sure they're clean. So we're going to empty this water, fill it back up. Again, we're going to use the Dawn dish soap, the blue one. That's the most important one. Um, not the most important. I mean, the one you're supposed to use. I'm talking silly. The one you're supposed to use because it doesn't have the chemicals in it and everything like the aloes and stuff. So just use the blue one. But look at just from the two babies, that's all I have left. This was just a small one, but that's all I have left. And I've only used it for the babies. So just little Abel and her now. So I'm gonna empty this, fill it back up with hot water. Just, you know, complete hot water. That's what I do it with. That's why the water is still warm, even though it's been going all day. So hot water and we're gonna fill her up and leave her overnight and then give her a good uh, rinse right now and then a good rinse tomorrow. But there you go, you guys. You get to see all the icky in the water. Another dirty baby. And then we'll go on to the next step. This was step one. All right. Say goodbye. All right, everyone, it is now the next morning and this water is still got a lot of stuff floating around in it, but I would say that she is now clean. Um, but she was a dirty baby. You can kind of see the stuff, it's now floating on the top. It's the light reflecting. So it's now the, the stuff floating on the top. You can see it going past her head right there. That piece moving, yeah, there was still a lot of dirt in that water. So we're gonna give her a good rinse now. We're gonna empty the tub and rinse her. I would say she's clean now though. That's two times in a 24 hour period. So I would say she's very clean now. So we're gonna empty the water, give her a good rinse, and then we're gonna do that second step where you do the drag test. So let's get on to it.
Okay, now we're gonna do the drag test like I did with Abel. I'll just do it with her head again. Up against your arm, you wanna drag the baby going like this to see if she will pull away. I can already tell she's sticky and definitely clean, but I like to do this test just to make sure, and I hope I'm not in the way, but let's do it. Yep, definitely. See how her head pulls? It won't even drain. You see that? It's pulling, so she is nice and clean. And prior to handling her, I did forget to tell you guys, and in the video with Abel, I did wash my hands first with Dawn dish soap, so I had really clean hands too before I handled the baby. And I didn't want to use anything but the Dawn. So we're gonna get on to the next step. Okay, everyone, the next step is to let her dry completely underneath that container. So we're gonna take the cover off, flip it up over her, and give her a little air hole like we did with Abel. If you didn't see that video, that's what you want to do. You want to take this nice Tupperware container, take the cover off, use the bottom, flip it up over the baby, which is laying on a garbage bag. She's bigger, so I put her on a garbage bag. And then you want to um, close her off, but have a little vent hole, and I'm going to show you that. But anyways, I'm going to get some photos first of her for you guys. Um, so I have some before photos, because I didn't do that with Abel, even though she's almost completely painted and we're just fixing her peeling. But I'm going to get some good photos for you guys of the peeling on her and just some good uh, before pictures. All right, let's stick her up under this container. Okay, so quickly, I'm just showing you what I'm talking about. I took the bottom container, flipped it up over the baby while she was laying on the plastic. I have a garbage bag here. That way she can dry completely without doing any kind of towel drying because it would put more lint and debris on the baby again. And little Abel, I just used little Target and Walmart bags because he was so tiny. She needed a garbage bag. But I have her in here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've got that little uh, vent. See how it's, it's probably hard to tell. Let me show you. Probably hard to tell, but it is venting. If you can see, I'll put my fingers here. You can see that's the little vent hole. But I only have it on one side. The other side is closed off again like I did with Abel. I did close it off. I don't want too much of an air hole because I don't want a bunch of dust to get up under there. But you do need to vent this. That's why you don't just put the baby in the container and close it off, because you need to have some kind of a vent system when they're wet like that to dry them off, but to try to keep them as clean as you can. So, yep, she's inside this container, and it's going to take a few hours for her to dry. When she's all done, I'll go, you know, come back in and go on to the next step. All right, guys, she's all dry, and boy, it took a long time. It took about five hours, <laughs> six hours for her to dry. But she's all dry and ready for the Novox that I got from Smooth On. I hope you guys are seeing that with all the supplies I showed you. This is a paint thinner, and you want to wipe the babies down completely before painting with this. Um, people have used um, acetone and also the um, naphthia, but I believe that will take some of her paint off. This is a paint thinner, so this will be better so I can wipe her entire body since I'm going to be doing the silicone over the entire body to seal her in good so she doesn't get any more peeling. Um, you know, she hasn't gotten it all over her body, but I just don't want the whole body to do that. But this is what I'm using right now. I do have it ventilated though. I'm not going outside because it's wet and kind of rainy out. So I'm doing it in here in her bucket here in front of my screen door with the uh, um, screen, you know, open. So we're getting the ventilation in here because you want to be ventilated when you're working with this Novax glass. It's a paint thinner. And then of course I have my other windows open and I do have the heat on though, just because when I'm painting, you want it to be warm in here. So I do have my heat going, but because I have the windows open and everything. So I've got it all ready here. I also got that t-shirt. Like I told you guys, you want to use a lint-free cloth to wipe her down afterwards or um, uh, a t-shirt. They said a t-shirt would work. So I Bought a t-shirt and used half for Abel and half for her, so I have it in here so it stayed good. Didn't get the um, lint on it and everything, and I'll just kind of wipe her down. But she does dry pretty fast. This paint thinner evaporates. I do have it in here now because, like, when I did Abel, I spilled some of it. I don't want to do it this time. I do have some in this container here, so hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm using a makeup sponge, and I'm just going to get it nice and wet, and we're going to do it all over her body. We're going to hope and pray that it doesn't take her actual paint off of her, so let's just do a little patch test just to make sure it's not gonna take her paint off of her. Doesn't look like it. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully I'm not in the camera, so I don't wanna be in the camera. But um, it doesn't look like it's taking her paint off good. Cause I just wanna do the whole thing cause I am going to do a coat of that silicone, but I also believe I'm gonna do a coat of, um, she has a little piece here, I should have a little tweezers here with me. Um, it does have um, 
uh, the thing in the beginning that I start with, the very beginning step, which is a paint with no pigment, which is the start. It's called the base coat that I used on Abel. I'll be showing you when I get started on her. So I'm going to be doing that on her as well. Um, you know, to start it off, it's a base. I'm thinking I want to do the whole baby though, not just the spot she needs. I may want to do that because it's a paint and it'll seep in and help protect that along with the last step I do, which is the silicone. I want to do that as well. Um, but I think I want to do both because I just want to really seal this baby because she is so beautiful. I just don't want any chance of anything going wrong with her, you know, of uh, the actual paint that she does have left over, which is absolutely gorgeous. So we're just getting everything on her, doing the ears, everything around her, and really just giving her a good wipe down because this is what's going to help, you know, do the paint as well. And I had to do it like this because she's not light like Abel where I can just hold him in my hand and wipe him down. She is way too heavy. She's an 11 pound baby. I am blacking out um, her private area again, just because, you know, some people don't like to see that and I am monetized. So I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't, um, you know, so these videos can be monetized and be up and everything be okay. So I'll just black out her private areas. Um, but anyways, we're just going all over doing everything. I hope you guys can see it. I'm getting every part of her because even the good parts, I do want to try to do that base coat on her. Um, I'm going to do a patch test, though, to see how it works. I don't think it's going to really make a difference. Like I said, it's just a clear paint with, you know, without the pigment in it. But it's supposed to, st you know, start it off, they told me, from um, Fuse FX, that what it does is it prepares the baby to see if it takes paint. And being just clear, it wouldn't ruin the body, you know, the baby then, because it's just a clear paint. So wouldn't ruin the baby by doing that, but it'll show you. And then I guess it helps to suck all the other paints in as well when doing that. So um, I am getting her private area, but you guys aren't able to see this because I do have it blacked out. But just make sure that we wipe her good everywhere. Um, the nose, everything. Since I am going to be doing everything, I'd like to get inside her mouth a little bit too because I'm going to be doing that with that clear coat, you know, to shine it up. Because when I do that last powdering on her, that makes her matte. Um, I want to then shine up the areas at, you know, after that part is dry. So, and I should have had a little tweezers here because I'm getting little pieces I'm noticing, but that's okay because I'll just pick it off when I go over there. So I think this side is good. Let's get her fingers good. And I'm going to flip her over and do the back. Just wiping her good. And I'll do a little bit more in this video. I know the other videos I showed and then, you know, did some of those clip, you know, clips a little bit faster. I'll try to show a little bit more in here since she doesn't have as much to do. It's just fixing some of her paint. So, but that's that, you guys. Like I said, have a little tweezers here when you're doing this. So I'm going to flip her over and get the backside, and then we'll get on to the very next step. Okay, you guys. Now we're going to start the painting process. The very first step to that is the base coat. And you see here, it's M109 base coat. And then it has the part A with the, you know, same thing, the M109. Those two are the ones that have to go together. You can't use the part A of the silicone one. You need this, these two together. So it would both say 109. One is a base coat. One is a 109 base coat part A. You mix them 50-50. I wrote it right there on the screen for you. We're going to go ahead and mix this. And like I said, I it was just planning to do just her areas that need to be painted. But I want to really seal her good. So I'm thinking that I should do a layer of this all over her entire body, front and back. But I want to do just a little patch test. So I'm going to start it off with the bottom of her foot where it's going to show that it'll go on the part that isn't painted that got peeled away. And then there's a part on her foot that still has paint. So I'm going to do the whole bottom of the foot and then we're going to Use the hairdryer quick for that process. Other than that, she's going to go in a container after I seal her whole body. But I just want to do a quick test here. So I'm going to try this out to make sure that I'm going to be able to do her entire body. Because I figured how great would it be to have a coat of paint on her just to protect her along with that last coat I'm going to do, which is the silicone one before the matte powdering. So I just think that this is a good idea, but we'll do a test just to make sure that it's not going to get like thick or anything, even though these paints are very thin. But these are paint without the pigment. So let's go ahead and put this out. I've got the little brush here. I'm using a fan brush for this, and i got the little tweezers here. If I see anything, I can pick little pieces of fuzz up. So let's go ahead. I've got a little cap here. Let's make sure this cap is completely clean and that there's nothing in here to get on. The, you know, mix in the paints or anything. So we're going to do 50-50 parts. Now she's a bigger baby. So I'm doing a quick patch test on her. I probably shouldn't have put that much out. 
I'm actually going to suck some back in because I forgot we're just doing a patch test with her. So I'm going to suck some of this back in only because um, I didn't need that much. I forgot because we're just doing a patch test and I don't want to waste this because this is all I have left and I don't want to have to wait and order more paints. So let's just get a lot of this put back into the container. I'm just going like this and sucking it back into the container because I forgot I'm only doing a patch test to start off with. So make sure it goes down before you squeeze it. And then grab some more. And that's all I'm doing is just squeezing some back into the container so that I don't have so much out because I need this for her for after. For when I do the whole body, if I'm planning to do the whole body, if it works. So. And I'm going to get a bunch of it put back in. I'm sorry, guys. I went to do it as if I was doing her whole body and realized, oh, I'm not doing her whole body. <laughs> I am if this works out, but I want to get a patch test done first. All right, that's enough there. I put most of it away. Hard to see because it's clear, but I put most of it away. Then we're just going to do 50, you know, 50, 50 parts. So I'll put a little bit of this out as well to mix with it. And that should be enough. Hopefully I didn't put too much of that. I don't think I did. It looks about the same because it'll spread. Yeah, it looks about the same. All right. You're kind of, uh, you know, eyeballing it, but just make sure you do as close to 50-50 as you can of the, the two parts matching. All right, so then I'm just going to mix it up here. I've got a toothpick thing here. I'm just going to mix it up, put, mix them together. Hopefully you can see that, me mixing it. Make sure it gets mixed good, you guys. Those two need to be mixed good together. You need to mix all the paints really good, you know, that they get mixed good. So just give it a good mix. And then it should be ready there. And like I said, I'm going to do a patch test on her foot. And hopefully that will, because it takes a while for that to cure, on the even on the Tupperware thing. So I'll be able to just try it with the hair dryer. And then from there, you know, go ahead and finish the rest of her body. So let's go ahead and let's see, make sure this is cleaned off. we got a little paper towel here that is a, well, more or less a lint-free. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get some. And we're going to just do a very, very thin coat on the bottom of her foot. So I'll lift it up for you guys to see. Actually, I'll kind of turn her a little bit so you guys can see this process. And I'll be, you know, blacking out the private area. But okay, we're just see, see her foot here. Let's see, is this the worst one? Um, yeah, you can see that she has the chipping there, if you can see that. Down the center there, that's the, the peeling. And then the rest of her foot's pretty much okay. But we're going to go ahead... And I can see a couple little pieces there. So I'm going to pick those little pieces off with the tweezers. Because we don't want any little pieces on the foot there. All right. So I'm just going to be doing the whole foot. Just seeing how this works out. Because this will be my patch test that I'm doing. Just a, you know, a quick test to see um, if it's going to be okay to do on her whole body. Because like I said, I just want to give her an extra layer of paint. Because I'm not going to be painting her whole body. I'm only doing um, just her, uh, you know, her chipping, but that being said, I just want to make sure that I want to cover the entire body with this being a clear, if it, you know, I'm sure it makes sense to you guys to give her a coat of paint, you know what I mean? Just to protect her even more because she's so beautiful. I don't want anything to happen to her. So we'll do just the bottom of her foot like that. And then we're going to do the hair dryer. I'm going to set this brush down and we're going to go ahead and look and see if there's any little pieces. Because remember, once it dries, any little pieces in there are going to dry with the baby. So you don't want any pieces of lint or anything on her foot. You want to make sure you get all of that away because, yeah, it will dry with the baby. And I don't want to dry her with the hair dryer the whole time. We're just going to do it this one time. And then if it works, then I'm if I like it and it's not too thick looking, I'm going to do the entire body then and then put her away and cure her for two hours. But you can do the hair dryer process. I just don't want to with her just because I want to do the best I can. She's a very, very expensive baby. And I just want to make sure that, you know, she's okay and safe and nothing majorly goes wrong with her. So I want to do the actual process that I always knew, which was curing. Um, I just want to do that with her. It may take a few extra days, but that's okay. Um, I just want to do it that way. But we're going to go ahead and blow dry it this one time just on the bottom of her foot just so I can see if the test works so I can finish doing it. Because I can only do the front side of her body because she's so heavy. I'm going to cure her then for two hours and then I'll do the back side and cure her for two hours and then just leave her through the night and we'll start the painting the next day. So let's go ahead and just hair dry this and hope that it dries quick enough and I can see if I like it then and see if the chipping part takes paint. That's what we're trying to figure out here. 
It's not just the fact of doing this to help do, you know, suck the other paints in. The purpose of this is to see if she's gonna take silicone, if she got clean enough and everything, because that is the reason I believe she pills. Even the lady from um, Fuse FX said, she goes, I don't understand why she would have peeled because the paints become the body because they're silicone. So they become the baby. And uh, so she said it must have been, you know, the paints, the lady got her, it was a lady that did her out of Mexico. We don't even know the artist. Um, but anyways, so we just don't know what paints she used and if the baby was super clean, if they need to be super clean. So this test also will test to see if I got it clean enough to see if paint is gonna, or, you know, stay on it. And that's what's awesome about the clear one because then all you have to do is just do the matte finish and if they didn't take the paint, you would just matte finish this so it's not shiny and you'd know you can't paint this baby then, you can't fix it. So, and it does say you only have to cure for two minutes but it wasn't taking two minutes with Abel. Maybe it will with her because her silicone is Ecoflex 20. I don't know what Ecoflex he was, but he did take longer to dry, but we'll see how long it takes her with the hair dryer here. And we'll see if it'll stay on that area that's not got any paint, because that's the most important. Those are the ones we're gonna be fixing. So I'm gonna dry this up and I will be back, you guys.